web is cluttered with references that can't be ignored regarding the relationship between the Venus Project and the Zeitgeist Movement. First it must be noted that the Venus Project has decided to part ways with the Zeitgeist Movement. Whether you try to understand the nature of the relationship that existed between the two organizations, or whether you're trying to understand why did the Venus Project decide to part ways with the Zeitgeist Movement, this video is likely to make things a lot clearer. In case some of you don't know, the Venus Project is a global organization based on more than 75 years of study done by Jacques Fresco, a 95-year-old industrial designer, multidisciplinary researcher and inventor. Jacques' involvement in science goes back to childhood. Tremendously educated and self-taught, he is considered by many to be ahead of his time, and some people often point out his unique perspective on society, just another testimony of the wide range of knowledge he has acquired. Jacques and Roxanne founded the Venus Project in the early 1980s, although the organization has existed prior to that for several years under a different name. The Venus Project promotes a new social system, which also includes the transition into a resource-based economy, which is a term that was coined by Jacques and is one of the main themes of his work. Twenty-seven years later, in 2007, after the success of the film Zeitgeist that introduced a world full of problems and that is being controlled by money, religion and economic elites, Peter Joseph, the film's creator, who was looking for solutions, came across the Venus Project and flew over several times to the Venus Project's research center in Florida to learn about Jacques' ideas from Jacques. The filming Peter did during those meetings eventually became a part of the sequel of 2008, Zeitgeist Addendum, that in fact introduces the Venus Project as what could solve these problems. Since late 2008, using the release of his new film, Peter has founded the Zeitgeist Movement. The Zeitgeist Movement that worked under the guidance of Peter was in fact Peter's idea of helping the Venus Project. It was working in affiliation with the Venus Project from the very beginning, according to the shared agreement of Peter, Jacques and Roxanne, under the definition, the activist arm of the Venus Project. And so the Venus Project received the support of tens of thousands of activists who have joined the Zeitgeist movement. In this way, Peter has become, whether intentionally or not, not only the head of the Zeitgeist movement, but also the main character among whoever that were interested in helping the Venus Project. In fact, the Venus Project used to direct people that wanted to help them to the Zeitgeist Movement, and you might hear them do that in some of the videos that are not up to date. The hopes of working together in cooperation began to weaken when Peter's working style started to become more apparent. Rather than working cooperatively with Chuck and Roxanne, Peter has come up with and worked out projects by himself and only brought the final product for approval, a habit that Roxanne stated she felt uncomfortable about since it seemed like she was bothering him with her corrections. She felt this wasn't really working together and it seemed like from his part he was only fulfilling an obligation. Eventually, Peter virtually stopped his visits at the research center. As time went on, Jack and Roxanne had issues that they wanted to discuss in person with Peter. They felt it was best to do this in person, not over the phone or by email. They asked him to visit many times, but it never came about. Jack and Roxanne were worried about this. After all, they have allowed him to coordinate the activism arm and basically run the activism meant to fulfill the Venus Project's aims and proposals. As time passed, it became more clear that Peter's films create quite a confusion. Again and again, people that came across the movement were confused by the use of the word zeitgeist. The word zeitgeist was associated more with the first film than the second one, since it was a lot more popular. This made many people think the movement was about conspiracies and religion. Peter didn't just ignore that risk by choosing the movement's name, but also refused to make a clear-cut distinction between his films, and thus his opinions, and the movement. The fact he kept addressing 9-11 issues through his radio show and was, in practice, the head of the movement didn't just confuse people interested in the movement, 
but also its own activist for a very long time. But it wasn't just the first film that was the problem. The second film had its own issues. Not only did it bring up conspiracies again, but it also presented the Venus Project very briefly and presented the next steps needed to be taken in a very problematic way. As a result, a lot of the activists didn't seem to understand the direction of the Venus Project or what it was really about, which is not the technological aspects alone and how they will affect people's behavior and value systems, but how people's value systems need to change in order to allow this transition to happen in the first place. Some of the activists started working towards sustainable low-tech communes and the like. Others dwelt upon alternative barter systems, monetary reforms, conspiracies, new age concepts, direct democracy concepts, and other solutions within the monetary system. None of these have anything to do with the Venus Project. This was especially common among the local chapters due to the lack of communication between them and the International Forum made of local coordinators and Peter Joseph. The word zeitgeist appears to have become an icon, a white concept that was taken further away even from the zeitgeist organization into a cultural phenomenon, subject to enormous amounts of different interpretations. Interpretations that got attached to the Venus Project as well. Peter had noticed some of these misunderstandings very early on and had continuously pressed on getting away from the commune's ideas and getting into education. However, this message was brought up mainly on his internet radio shows and was rarely getting to local activists around the world which were getting their information from the films that were handed out and shown by the Zeitgeist Movement activists. Those films have been received pretty much as the Zeitgeist Movement's agenda. The Zeitgeist Movement has become an entity of its own, directed by Peter. And the Venus Project, which was the origin of practically all of the ideas behind it, was being marginalized more and more. On the Zeitgeist Movement's website, on interviews, in his lectures and whatnot, Peter presented the Venus Project's goals as the Zeitgeist Movement's goals. He used Jacques' analysis of the root causes of problems in society as the Zeitgeist Movement's analysis, and used many of the concepts Jacques talks about as the Zeitgeist Movement's key concepts. He even picked up ideas from Jacques' books and put it on his films. The credits that Peter gave Jacques were far away from avoiding the inevitable confusion. Many people in the movement got the impression that the Zeitgeist movement has to do with the ideas regarding social change, while the Venus Project was merely about buildings, city designs, and technology. In fact, a lot of them thought Peter was the one behind the ideas. This was an even more serious problem, since Peter did not seem to fully grasp a lot of the Venus Project's aspects himself. Therefore, the movement's activity, which was directed by Peter, was rarely relevant to what the Venus Project was trying to promote. There were very few efforts done in trying to get to influential figures, to get airtime, virtually no efforts to find investors to help support the next steps of the project, and no attention to educating the community itself via study groups and reading groups. More and more it seemed that the movement has taken its own direction. In 2010, Jacques and Roxanne started their worldwide lecture tour, meeting many of the movement's activists and trying to give them more information about the Venus Project in person. They were surprised with how little most of the activists knew about the Venus Project. While touring, they saw many ads written by the Zeitgeist movement promoting only its main website with no reference to the Venus Project, yet using all the Venus Project's materials. When they noted this to Peter, asking him to inform the activists about adding the Venus Project to their advertising, his reply was, it will take on a life of its own. The Venus Project felt this was troublesome, since the Venus Project has a specific direction based on research, and felt it's important to direct people to the source, since he is still alive and able to answer questions, in order to maintain the integrity of the findings as much as possible, and not to let it take on a life of its own. of March 2011, a video was uploaded to the Venus Project's YouTube channel, in which Jacques and Roxanne for the first time asked for donations for the major motion picture they have been working on for years. 
what was first seen as a cheerful event by the Zeitgeist Movement activists was really a tense and sensitive subject between Peter and the Venus Project. One should be aware that this movie project isn't just years of work, but also a main part of the transition that was meant to achieve public support and a change in values in a huge amount of people. It was also a part of this plan 40 years before Peter entered the scene. In April 2011, a YouTube video was uploaded recorded at one of Jacques' lecture tours at the research center, showing Jacques talking about how Peter and the Zeitgeist movement didn't really understand the Venus Project's direction. This resulted in public disputes about the reasons of him saying that in the Zeitgeist movement's forums and voice chat server. As part of this dispute, Peter has publicly stated that he doesn't believe the film would work, that he doesn't believe they could get the money from the community, and that he feels this is an erroneous use of the community's funds that should be spent on other projects. Shortly after that, Peter showed up at the voice chat server to answer questions, followed by Roxanne, who was contacted. When she arrived, she said, The Venus Project has decided to end the official affiliation with the Zeitgeist movement and no longer have it as an activist arm. She invited whoever wished to help the Venus Project to come and work with the Venus Project directly. In the following days, Roxanne described the absurdity of being in a situation of hearing public explanations of why their project would not work from a person who works with them in a time where they are looking for investors, and how counterintuitive it is for the activist arm of the Venus Project not to support its main project. This was too much. The result of the split was that some individuals within the Zeitgeist movement have joined what now are the Venus Project activism teams and work directly for the Venus Project. Others stayed in the Zeitgeist movement and today they continue to promote some aspects of the Venus Project's ideas along with other ideas. Most of them are no longer in contact with the Venus Project. The split also made many Zeitgeist movement chapters become even more independent about their interpretation of the Zeitgeist concept, and some of them work in completely different ways than what even Peter Joseph is trying to promote. To put it simply, the Venus Project decided they cannot continue affiliating with an organization run by an individual that is working on his own and his own direction, who doesn't fully understand all the Venus Project concepts, carries out projects without consulting Jacques and Roxanne, and rejects the projects that they really want to do. This was not an activist arm of the Venus Project, but something else entirely. In the Venus Project's view, the Zeitgeist movement tries to promote what they think the Venus Project's ideas are, without knowing enough about it. This, however, is a subject that is really too big to go into in this brief video. To this day, many people erroneously affiliate the Venus Project with conspiracies, communes and the like. If you encounter those affiliations, please inform others through this video. We invite you to learn more about the Venus Project at thevenusproject.com. Thank you for watching.